Good morning, it's Christina here and it's a Saturday morning and we were supposed to be out and about today but because of the heavy snowfall we had recently we've decided to postpone that and I'm gonna get some freezer cooking done today. So I don't have everything I was planning to do because I was planning to do this next weekend but I thought I'd just bring you along and kind of show you uh, what I'm making and kind of how we do it. This is me <clears throat> losing a bit of my voice, no makeup. I'm not going out today, I'm not putting makeup on. <laughs> That's just how it is, so I'm going to get some freezer cooking started here. I also have to think about dinner, and so I've got a whole chicken I thought overnight. I'm going to cook it on high for three hours and then switch it over to low until we're ready to eat it. And it will be uh, really easy to debone, and we're going to have some salad with it, have some chicken taco salad, and have that for dinner. So i got to take care of those before we start with everything else. So here's my list. Even though I'm just having breakfast, it's only about an hour and a half till lunchtime. So I'm gonna do these first so that we can have some of those for lunch with some other uh, fruit and veg. Cinnamon and raisin bagels. Carrot cookies, these are like a healthy breakfast cookie thing. Some granola bars. And then these ones here are not for the freezer, but I need to do our weekly prep anyway, so I'm gonna do them at the same time. And then we'll see if I get on to making some French bread, pancakes and waffles, we still have some, so I may do these another day. And then we make a treat every weekend, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna make. Maybe that make that this weekend, we'll see. Um, so I'm gonna start with the pizza buns here. I've got a double batch rising in here, and one batch in here, so three batches of pizza dough. Now, because I have to kind of manage what's gonna go in here at what time, I'm actually gonna do the chopped veggies and salad, and then that way we can have some veggies with lunch, and I don't need to use the oven right now. And I can also prep some of the carrots for the carrot cookies. And I also happen to find, if you didn't know, you can see um, hgtv.ca. You can watch shows on there. And I found Open House Overhaul. It's a pretty good show. I like open house and housing and such shows. So catching up on that too. some lettuce but that's done these are done and this is done for the cookies so the dough is just about ready to be rolled out I'm gonna move on to that now so because I only have two cans and I'm doing three batches I have some leftover um, tomato paste I'm just gonna mix in with a little bit of water and make it go a little further for three batches first batch here is almost done. All those look delicious. I love using these um, when we need to go into like town or we're gonna be gone all day. I just grab a bag out of the freezer, cut up some fruit and veg, and it saves us from buying fast food while we're out. If you have a larger family like ours, you know that fast food is neither very fast or very cheap because often you have to wait for them to make the food anyway. So this saves us money when we're out and it's quick and easy. So now I have cleaned up as well. I'm gonna get on to starting the bagels and get that dough rising. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Was it good? Uh-huh. You're all done already? So fast. Uh-huh. You want some more veggies? Uh-huh. Okay. All right, I got the bagel dough all mixed and rising here, two batches. 
kids have gone outside to play in the snow. So I'm gonna move on to the carrot cookies and get these done and hopefully in the oven and cooked before those need to go in. So I've got the breakfast cookies all mixed up here. There's carrots, homemade applesauce, there's walnuts, raisins, oats, um, coconut, did I say that? Carrots, yeah, just a whole bunch of good things, chia seeds, hemp hearts. So I'm going to scoop those out and get those baking now. So these are done and they're they're soft. They're not like hard, they're soft cookies. So I'm just gonna move them to the rack to cool. Some yummy apple bits in them too. Um, and then the, the dough is ready to go for the bagels. So I'm gonna get started on that now. the oven is hot so I can put these in next. So that's the plan. So I've got the cookies here ready to go in the freezer and I've kept seven out for us to have our snack tomorrow afternoon. And those will be a few breakfasts or snacks for us. So I don't have enough um, chocolate chips to make more than one batch so I won't be freezing much of anything. And some cookies. So all the bagels are done and cooling now. I've got cookies in the oven and there's just a few extra here. I like to roll them this way so when you want to cook them from the freezer you just plop them on the baking sheet, let them warm up a bit while it preheats and then they're ready to cook. So the cookies are just cooling down behind me there. I've got some stuff out to make dressing and um, finish off the chicken. I'm going to debone it and mix it with some taco seasoning and cook some onions. Because the kids are hungry, they want to have dinner. So I'm just going to pause kind of everything here, get them some dinner, and then I'll go on and finish their granola, the granola bars. So I got a good portion done. I didn't get these done. We do have some of these in our freezer right now for at least another probably two weeks. I don't have any French bread, but I'll probably get that done sometime this week, maybe next week if I'm able to. But not bad. Quite a bit is done, and I'll do granola bars after dinner, like I said. So thanks for hanging out with me today and kind of restocking my freezer and getting some meal prep done. I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.